Jesus reveals a, a side of himself today that will come as a surprise to some of us. He is frustrated. He is angry. He's angry with people and towns who heard his message, were privileged to have miracles done in them, and they didn't change for the better. And I can almost picture people listening to this gospel today that we just heard and nodding their heads and telling themselves, I, I know how Jesus felt because there were days when I felt the same way, angry and frustrated by things and circumstances over which I had no control. Few people enjoy feeling angry and frustrated. And, and what do we do? We seek ways to try to dispel them or try to forget them. And still they seem to persist and try as hard as you can sometimes. They often remain and they linger. And yet there is a way that Jesus offers us to help us get rid of yesterday's anger and frustration so that I can face today's challenges and enjoy today's blessings. It's forgiveness. Forgiveness will prevent anger and frustration from destroying our hearts. Forgiveness opens our minds and hearts to see other possibilities. Forgiveness will help lift the burden of anger and frustration when we fall victim to either or both of them. Family life and everyday living for some families seem to have built-in frustrations that at times cause feelings of anger. But don't let the sun go down on days when this happens. Don't let it go down without bringing these feelings to our family prayer, seeking forgiveness if our frustration was occasioned by the actions or comments of a family member. Mm -hmm.